Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory above Father. Child of God, all of a sudden, this is a message to somebody, you know. Ah, I want to be very calm with this message. You see the way I'm readjusting myself. <laughs> the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. I don't know, maybe when I start growing very, very old, <laughs> maybe I will learn how to be calm by force. <laughs> I wanted to flay off, so I need to calm down. I said, no, everybody said, where are you going to? Calm down, calm down. <laughs> the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. You know, all of a sudden, child of God, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, that person that everyone thought was not important is becoming important now. That is you. That is you. But they were not careful with you. That is where the problem is. They were not careful with you at all. They were not careful. They were not careful. If they were careful, they would have been able to amend a little of the broken things that have happened. You know, one thing is for a glass, a glass to be broken. No matter how somebody tried to bring back a broken glass, it cannot be complete. No matter how the person loved their the glass and said, well, let me take it back to the factory. In the factory, when it's going through the process of remodeling it again, some pieces will go missing. That is something about missing, missing, missing glass, glass and uh, broken glass and all of that. It's just like an egg. When an egg is broken, no matter how much that egg means to that person, even if the person pack the yolk from the ground and say, wow, this is what I have left. It cannot be the same as it was when it was not broken. You understand what I'm saying? So, they treated you very poorly. Very poorly. That is why many of them are trying to undo what they did. You know, like when somebody is on a hot seat. A very hot seat. I said it before and I will say it again. When people feel that someone does not fit to be in their category, you know, whatever they are doing, like, oh, this person does not fit to be in our category. Why? Because they don't know where the person comes from. At the end of it, those people are going to regret. I am telling you what I'm hearing. All of a sudden, somebody who feel, who was neglected, is becoming the important ones. But the treatment that they gave to you is something that they cannot undo. You know, this life, we talk about forgiveness. As children of God, wish we always encourage you to forgive. That it is not because they really married the forgiveness. If you have been following me, I've said that several times. It is not because the person who wronged you or who offends you uh, deserve the forgiveness. No. It is not because the person deserves the forgiveness. It is just because for your own sake. So forgiveness is not because the person is even asking for, for that forgiveness. Just for you to free yourself so that you will follow every written word of God. So the accuser will not say, look at her. He's praying. She's praying. He has a grudge in her heart. You know, the devil, the Bible says that the devil is roaming about. He's the accuser of the brethren. He said, the devil, your adversary, your adversary. Can you understand? Is roaming about looking for whom to devour. So this is why we encourage forgiveness. It is not because 
they even know they even they even acknowledge the forgiveness you can forgive somebody and the person will still not acknowledge it the person would not care if you like you forgive they will tell you, you that is left for you you are not going to stop me from doing what i'm doing you forgive you don't forgive you understand so they don't even acknowledge your forgiving spirit your forgiving heart but the truth is that when they have treated you in a poor way and god have made it possible the things that they thought would never be possible are becoming possible they can look at you and they can see that of a truth god is in your life do you know that you can look at somebody and you will know that god is in this person's life because looking at their circumstances looking at everything you can boldly say that this can only be god in your case, it has only be God. It has only, it is only God. Yes, people can boldly look at you and say, "Yes, of the truth, your life has is can only be God." And that life that many look at and they say it can only be God. God really know that it can only be Him, and He does not leave people like that alone. Where life have turned upside down, even the whole world is saying that ah. It can only be God. But the little breath in you, you are still using it to praise the Lord. The Bible said, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. But when you praise the Lord, because when you praise the Lord, the Lord is moved. Suddenly the atmosphere changed. Suddenly the things start falling in place for you. And things are falling in place for you now. Things are falling in place for you now. In pleasant places because you have a godly inheritance according to God's word. Hallelujah. All of a sudden, many of them are trying to undo what they did. Why are they running? You don't even hold anything that they do against them. You are not even holding it, but they are struggling with themselves. Because a pain, I keep saying it, a pain that people cannot bear. They should not afflict it on others. A pain that they cannot forgive. They cannot, they should not afflict it on you. Because if they were in your shoes, they will not forgive. The same people that will tell you just forgive and go and die with the devil. They are the same people that if they are in their shoe, that your shoe, they can never forgive. You forgiving makes you a better person. I am telling you. They try, they are trying to undo what they did. <laughs> but because what they have done. Is something that they cannot really reverse. Works are very expensive. Actions are very expensive. It is not all works that can be reversed. Even when apology is made, the word of someone can make someone else to set a boundary. Like because of your word, not because I don't forgive you, but because of your word. I want to set a boundary so that you will not have that access to come and say this again. Many people have lost important, important connection because of their words. Not that the person did not even forgive them. Ah, I'm sorry, boss. It was a mistake. Fine. But you can't come to my office again. Have the boss forgiven? Yes. When you search his heart, yes. But he's, he's setting boundary. Whenever you set boundary, some people mistake it for unforgiveness. No. Setting boundary does not make... Um, does not mean an unforgiveness. It means you trying to protect your sanity. Protecting your sanity, that is what it means. They try to undo what they did. Because all of a sudden, the rejected stone has become the chief cornerstone. All of a sudden, the rejected stone has become the chief cornerstone. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. I need you to understand that things are falling in place for you, whether the devil likes it or not. Whether the devil likes it or not, things will fall in place for you. Whoever treated you poorly is left for them, is not for you, because their conscience is there. A time will come where they will find themselves in a hot seat to even contact you will be a problem. Why? Because when you need them, 
you were treated as if you are nobody. But God is a God that makes something out of nothing. God is a God that makes somebody out of nobody. And that God is making somebody out of your life. You are not somebody. All of a sudden, things are changing. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.